Hi, welcome to the small, the small shed on Saturday. It's pouring with rain outside. I hope the uh, noise of the rain on the roof doesn't disturb things too much. The main video this week actually is going to be put out tomorrow, so this is more uh, just a placeholder just to say uh, it'll be along tomorrow, it won't be there today. Um, but I will just do a little quick unbox of a couple of things I've bought for shopping, um, just to so that you can see some of the future projects that are coming up in on the next uh, well few months' time. Let me just turn you on to see what there is there. Um, I bought, well, we, I was getting some CLS timber changed uh, with a bill of about £1.80 something and my better half decided we needed a new front door light, so uh, it's cost me another 20 quid. Um, new front door light, that'll be one of the Saturday builds because it was a job that's supposedly only going to take me a couple of minutes, but um, probably won't. That's a new front door for us. Um, I was going to put a new security light up, but there's a, a series of, or one video coming up on a series of things you can do as security on the shed, um, and one of the things was the outside light. Um, I've got a big halogen one that I was going to put up, but I saw these little LED ones, and I thought I'd give that a try, so that will be coming up on one of the uh, future, I think it's about six or seven weeks time, I've got something scheduled to come up on security in the shed and that's one of the parts of that. Um, went shopping for some cheesy baked biscuits the other day and came back but there was I wasn't going to get one of these. These are the little work zone Aldi routers that were £25. Um, I wasn't going to get one of these because I'd bought the katsu not long ago um, and this was the last one in the shop and I the more I looked at it the more I thought Mm, yeah, shall I, shan't I? It's not actually going to be used as a router. Um, it's plan B in a build that I'm working on. I've just started, but it could well be, you know, a year before it comes to anything because it's fairly complicated. But basically, I wanted that part of it. I need, I needed that, uh, and I should probably strip it down further than that. So I thought I'd get it, as I say, it's plan B, it might not even be used, but um, I thought I'd give it a go. In the meantime, I will actually use it now I've got it, um, and I can do a direct comparison with the Katsu then. Um, the initial impression is that it's not in the same league. Um, but it may well be that it does the job. That's that's the katsu. Uh, it's a much more substantial lump of metal than this, which is mainly plastic. It's a smaller. This is 500 watts. I think this is 700 or 750. I think 710 watt. So that's more powerful. Um, I had my issues when I had this um, with the control speed control which is pretty much useless anyway because with a small hand router you don't need a lot of speed control anyway um, and the control knob there that was loose uh, well it was damaged actually uh, but even so having said all of that I still rather like that I'm getting on very well with it this uh, has got had got similar issues in that the clamp wasn't very good and you could actually push the thing up and down. There's been a couple of reviews on YouTube that have pointed out that problem and great thanks to uh, Bongo at Poultry People for, for putting me onto it in the first place. It was the first one I saw that suggested that that was tightened up before you used the, um, the machine and, and that is now solid. But even so I still don't, that is far less, you can see it wobbling around all over the place, it's a far less pleasant 
slide than the one on the catsuit. But I'll give it a chance, we'll see what it's like, use it, I can do a direct one-to-one -one comparison on these um, later on and just see how I've got on. I, I don't imagine it won't do what it's supposed to do um, and, and therefore for the money it's that was very good because it was cheap at £30 or so. That's probably also very good. It's got limitations, but it was only 25 and So, you know, it, it, and it came with a router bit, as well as all the other bits and pieces. Um, it, it came with a, a new router bit as well. So, it, it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but as long as it does what it's supposed to do, um, yeah, I suppose it's not a bad deal. So we'll try that one out and, and in the future at some point give some sort of an idea of... I, I'm no great expert on routers, but... The only thing I can say is I've still got all my fingers at the moment, touch wood, so that's as far as it goes. But you can get the impressions on how they stand up and whether they break down or anything like that, and that may well be of use in the future. So that's next one up. Um, and while I was there I had to buy some cheap nasty bits of tools as well. Uh, again, they might be rubbish, but at £3 a pack, little saw drill bits. Um, I wanted to try the Forstner bits because for three pound for five bits, uh, I haven't got any Forstners as such. I've got some uh, ones that he used for going well. I say round corners, but they've got a longer shaft and a narrower shaft. But these are a bit more meaty, so I'll, 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 they're worth a try. I think. So the countersink drills, I've already got some, but um, they're a slightly different design at the neck and. Hopefully the collars are a bit better at staying on than the ones I've got that came from China. And uh, another set of plug cutters. Again, I've got some plug cutters, but um, I thought I'd look at them, give them a try. It means I've got to make some more racks for the um, shelving, but uh, we'll see how that goes anyway. So that's what's coming in the week. Uh, say the main event's going to be tomorrow. Uh, should be coming up in the morning, and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Cheers now, bye.